Hi everyone, welcome to our first virtual field trip of camp. We are going to Pittsburgh today, so it'll be about a 45 minute drive and I will see you there. Welcome to Pittsburgh, everyone. I'm very excited to take you on this virtual field trip today because I am from Pittsburgh. I live in Pittsburgh, I was born in Pittsburgh, and I was raised there. So I'm very excited to tell you some information and take you on a tour of some of my favorite places there. So wasn't that the best view ever that you just watched, going through the tunnels and coming out onto the Fort Pitt Bridge and seeing the city in the background? That's one of my favorite views of the city. So our first stop on our trip will be Mount Washington. But before I tell you about Mount Washington and we go there, I want to tell you a little bit about Pittsburgh. The city of Pittsburgh is made up of 90 neighborhoods. So imagine having 90 Washingtons in one place, and that's about the size of Pittsburgh. It's a big city, so there are over 300,000 people that live in the 90 neighborhoods. There are also three rivers that flow through the city, the Monongahela, the Allegheny, and the Ohio River. And you can see those three rivers on this map. There are many nicknames for Pittsburgh. One of them is the Steel City because Pittsburgh was once the steel making capital of the world. The steel that was made in Pittsburgh was used to build things like the Brooklyn Bridge, and other buildings in other cities. Another nickname is the City of Bridges. Pittsburgh has 446 bridges, which is more than any other city in the entire world. The last nickname I'm going to tell you is the City of Champions. Pittsburgh was first known as a City of Champions when the Pirates, Steelers, and Panthers won multiple championships in the 1970s. So now we are going to Mount Washington. Mount Washington has one of the most iconic views of the city of Pittsburgh. Most of the time, there are a ton of people where I'm standing right now taking pictures of the city. The river down below us is the Monongahela River. Down on the river, you'll be able to see the Gateway Clipper fleet that I will point to in a second. The Gateway Clipper fleet started in 1958 and consists of five ships that take people around the city. A lot of Pittsburghers will take these ships to go to the Steelers and Pirates games.
The building that I just pointed to is one of my favorite buildings in Pittsburgh. It's the PBG Buildings downtown. As you can see, they look like castles and are very unique to Pittsburgh. Isn't this view amazing? We're going to take a little walk down Grandview Avenue right now so I can show you something else that's very exciting. It's kind of a far walk, so you'll have to take in the views as we go. Off to the right is the Shiloh Street shops where you can find an ice cream shop and you can find restaurants that you can go to and they're all really good. So this building up here holds one of Pittsburgh's famous inclines. The Pittsburgh inclines were built in 1870 to transport workers up and down the coal hill that is now Mount Washington. There were once 16 inclines in Pittsburgh, but now there are only two operating. This incline is called the Monongahela Incline and it is 635 feet long. There are two cars that move on the incline simultaneously and always meet each other in the middle of the hill, going at six miles per hour. We're going to watch this one go down and then you'll be able to see the other one that's going to come up. Here comes the other one from the bottom. At the bottom of the incline, you can find Station Square, where the Gateway Clipper fleet is located. 
We're going to take a walk up Grandview Avenue now so I can show you one more thing before we go to our next neighborhood. What I'm going to walk out onto is called an overlook. This is where you can get the best views of the city. I won't go close to the railing though because it's very, very, very high up. What I just pointed to was PNC Park and Heinz Field. And we're going to head over there next. So take in one last view of the city and I'll meet you over there. So we're going across the river over to the North Shore. I'm glad you all made it to our second stop, the North Shore. Where I'm pointing is Mount Washington, where we just were. The North Shore is located along the Allegheny and Ohio Rivers, and across the way is the point where the three rivers meet, and then the other operating incline, which is the Duquesne Incline. We're going to take a walk over to Heinz Field, Heinz Field is ha home to Pittsburgh's professional football team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Heinz Field opened August 18, 2001 and has 68,400 seats. Heinz Field is also home to the University of Pittsburgh's football team, the Pittsburgh Panthers. If we walk down here a little bit, you'll be able to see the Carnegie Science Center. Over there is PNC Park, so we're going to head down there and I'll show you a little bit of that. PNC Park is home to Pittsburgh's professional baseball team, the Pittsburgh Pirates. PNC Park opened April 9, 2001 and has 38,362 seats. Before these stadiums were built, players played at Three Rivers Stadium. And that's why both PNC Park and Heinz Field opened in 2001. The North Shore is also home to many museums, including the Children's Museum, Mattress Factory, and the National Aviary. We're going to cross the Roberto Clemente Bridge so I can show you my favorite part of downtown Pittsburgh. So these are the buildings I showed you from Mount Washington, but I wanted to show you so you could see them up close too. The PPG Plaza is where you can find the PPG ice skating rink in the winter. This is a quick stop downtown, but I just had to show you those buildings before we head over to Southside. So we're going to cross another bridge 
and head on over to the South Side Flats. So right now we're on East Carson Street in the Southside neighborhood. Southside is home to the Pittsburgh Riverhound soccer team, and it's located along the Monongahela River. Along the river, you can find a bike trail called the Great Allegheny Passage. That bike trail is so long that if you kept going on it, you would make it to Washington, D.C. That seems like a pretty long bike ride to me. This neighborhood has over 80 restaurants on East Carson Street, which makes it a very popular place in Pittsburgh. There are also a lot of shops that you can shop in, and there's theaters, there's a movie theater, and coffee places, ice cream shops, you name it, the Southside neighborhood has it. One of my favorite restaurants in Southside is Permani Brothers. Permani Brothers is known for their huge sandwiches. Although the original is in the Strip District, the one in Southside is just as good. This is the end of our first virtual field trip. I hope you had fun exploring and learning about the city of Pittsburgh. I know I did. In the comments of this video, you can leave a comment telling us your favorite part of the field trip or something new you learned. And I'll see you again next week for our next virtual field trip.